Hello YouTube, hello everybody. Today we'll be doing an unboxing on my lithium ion phosphate battery. Before we get started, I want to say I'm truly amazed of the box we received. This is truly professional boxing. Um, I hope everything is intact inside, and I guess we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> And this was pretty well packaged. Here we have our BMS that we'll be using for this project. Yeah. Check it out, guys. These are looking pretty amazing. The boxing is whoa, very professional. Check it out. <laughs> I know you can buy separator separator plates, what well, they're called, but I think we can use these ones. <laughs> and look, we got more of them. We got nuts and bones for them. I hope they fit. <laughs> and they're short. But these cells look amazing. And there's a separator insulation for every one of them. <laughs> that I think we might be using as a separator plate. Man, oh man, this is looking pretty good. Well, this box is empty, we don't have to worry about this. Let's check this cell out. Check it out. Plastic cover, plastic bag. This is pretty nice. Man, this look very good. This is just a uh, air under the foil stuck there. They look pretty good. Yeah, they're very very cold. Still, it's just the wrapper. They seem very good, in very good condition. They should be great day cells, brand new, so we shouldn't worry about anything, in theory. <sighs> Let's take them out, I guess. So that they can heat up a little, because they're really, really cold. So they can heat up. I guess we'll be leaving some inside just spaced out so they can heat up because they're cold as ice. And even the the box uh, has this foaming on the inside, not to get the, uh, the batteries damaged, so it's very well put together. This is from the Czech Republic, 
And I think they've done an amazing job, the guys from the GWL. So yeah. In the next video, I guess we'll be making the battery. These look very nice. No bumps, no dents, everything seems to be perfect. Here are some data on these batteries. I hope you can see. Oh, let's pull this one out. We will check the bolts in a minute to see if they fit at least on one battery. Because I've seen other videos when people had problems with the bolts on the batteries that they don't fit and all kinds of problems. I hope we don't get <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, I think we have some documentation. Yeah, I'll be reading that in a second. Just one. There we go. It's here. And I think these are perfect for separator plates. <laughs> it's amazing. Because I was actually thinking what to use as separator plates. Okay, I think we're kind of done. So we can check the bolts on this guy. I think these are M8 bolts. Oh, I don't know. But it won't open. I just broke the top of it and still will not open. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, they fit. Oh my god. That's amazing. Let's check the other one. Yes, they fit, everything seems to be perfect. On the label here, I can read that they are supposed to be 352 watt hours per cell. So Low voltage is 2.8 volts, charge voltage is 3.65 volts, number of cycles 2000. Yeah. Still, they're very, very cold. Air under the tape, no problem there. Neatly packed. The terminals look pretty good. A little used, I guess. Hmm. Maybe a little scratching here and there. But I, I guess these batteries do get tested before they ship them out, so it's not really unusual. Just put this here. Great! More insulation. <laughs> Look, we have more panels. I think this is gonna be awesome. Again, let's have a look at the BMS we're going to be using. Here you can see. I'll be explaining the BMS in a, another video. So this is, this is it for now, guys. So yeah, this is it, guys. See you in the next video when we'll be assembling this and balancing it. Charging it using a laboratory power source. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.